Hey, this is Pulse for Pioneer DJ, and this is a guide for setting up the XDJ700 for Tractor on a Mac. The first thing you need to do is download the XDJ700 TSI file from the Tractor Bible website. The link is in the description below. Next thing to do is to launch the audio MIDI setup. You can find this in the utilities folder of your applications, and ensure that you have the XDJ700s recognized as devices. Here in the MIDI Studio window, you can see my XDJ700s have previously been connected to the system, but they're grayed out because they're not currently connected. So when I plug in the USB cables, they will then appear as white and available to the system. So now I know that they're connected, go to Window and show the audio devices. Here you can see each of the XDJ700s is connected as an audio device, but now I want to create an aggregate. Pioneer offers a download tool, but you can do this directly through here. Click the plus, create, click, add, create aggregate, check the XDJ700s, and that's pretty much it. You can add drift correction to both devices, and you might need to change the order of these, but we'll come back to that after. Note that the sample rate is 48 kilohertz. Now we can open Tractor. The first thing to do is to go into your preferences and go to the audio setup and change the audio device to your aggregate device. Ensure that sample rate is at 48,000 and your output routing is set to external and your deck A is front left one, front right two, and deck B will be front right, sorry, front left three and front right four. Next, to go to your controller manager, click the add, import TSI, import other, and select the download that you had just done. So here we go, my TSI file. And now I've got an XDJ700 set for all ports, all ports and focus deck. Now, before I assign these on the XDJs, I'm gonna press and hold utility and scroll down to show you that I have a MIDI channel set to a different assignment for each deck. So MIDI channel one and MIDI channel two. Press the link button, push to connect, and now you have assignment for each deck. You're able to then scroll through and assign and play. And if the audio comes out the wrong channel of the mixer, simply go in and change it in the audio configuration. So here, if it's backwards, simply grab and reverse and it will swap the audio channel that it outputs on. Mine was correct, so I'm gonna drag it back. And if you have no jog control, try pressing the vinyl mode button. Sometimes I've noticed that this is backwards on one deck and not on the other. So here it works properly, but here it has to be off. But that's it, all the other functions work as they expect. Little other effort is needed. If you have any other questions, come and visit us in the forums, forums.pioneerdj.com.